Good morning and welcome back. We are here now moving into chapter 26, 1 Samuel 26 and verses 1 to 6 today. Now the Ziphites came to Saul at Gibeah, saying, Is David not hiding in the hill of Hachilah, opposite Jeshimon? Then Saul arose and went down to the wilderness of Ziph, having three thousand chosen men of Israel with him to seek David in the wilderness of Ziph. And Saul encamped in the hill of Hachilah, which is opposite Jeshimon by the road. But David stayed in the wilderness, and he saw that Saul came after him into the wilderness. David therefore sent out spies and understood that Saul had indeed come. So David arose and came to the place where Saul had encamped. And David saw the place where Saul lay, and Abner, the son of Ner, the commander of his army. Now Saul lay within the camp with the people encamped all around him. Then David answered and said to Ahimelech the Hittite and Abishai the son of Zeruiah the brother of Joab saying, Who will go down with me to Saul in the camp? And Abishai said, I will go down with you. Boy, this doesn't this sort of have a familiar, familiar ring? We just had it the previous chapter, right? Saul takes a big army of guys that go out after David. God works providentially so that Saul is in the same cave as David. David spares Saul's life, goes out and says, Hey, by the way, I spared your life. You know, you can quit chasing me. And Saul says, Hey, everything's going to be fine. Have a nice day. We're not going to chase you anymore. Here we are next chapter. Boom, there's Saul chasing David again. He, he got a hint where David was and comes with 3,000 guys. And in fact, this chapter is going to be very much a repeat of the previous chapter. But we'll, we'll take each piece as we go. Over here, we see that David hears that this is true. He's not sure if it's true, and he sends out scouts and spies to check it out, and it turns out it's true. So David goes there. It's interesting, you know, uh, David in the first incident in the previous chapter, what did we have? David and Saul happen into the cave at the same time, and David didn't know a thing about it, nor did Saul. This was a providential business. Here, David is now going to go to the camp, and we'll see what happens with all that. But David comes to Saul. So it's like David's becoming bolder here in watching what God is doing. Uh, he does have a couple of mighty guys with him. Matt wants a couple of mighty men, Abishai, and uh, he's going to go down with him there. Be careful who goes with you, and we'll see that tomorrow morning. But that's tomorrow morning. For this morning, let's pause and pray. Dear Father in heaven, uh, boy, it seemed like at the end of our sequence last chapter that David was in good shape. Saul is going to go and, and do underwater basket weaving, leave David alone. But Lord, uh, now Saul has come back uh, just kind of like a, a habit, and he's come back uh, chasing down David again for no purpose, for no reason. We know you're intervening and working in all these matters, and so we're looking to see what will happen next. Please, uh, we pray that we will be able to be providentially guided by you, that we'll notice more and more your providential leanings and leadings for us, and that you'll help us to, to make wise, spirit-led decisions about how we address the situations we're in. So now, Lord, we watch to see what will happen next in the story, the story from history. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. David's kind of getting bold. He knows God's doing some stuff here, and David is going to uh, go up to the camp and go down into the camp. Have a wonderful day.